It's like a little hat. I don't know what it is about cabbage and hats. Like a gum nut baby. There you go. <laughs> G'day guys, dal is the recipe today, and dal is a classic dish in uh, the Quinn household. I absolutely love it. It's cheap, it's easy, it's packed full of flavor, and it fills up those little bellies on a cold night. And um, it's also a dish that I like to cook for my very good friend, Reese Hignall, aka Cake Boy, aka the best vegan in the world, aka the best baker in the world, aka the best person in the world. Hope I ticked all the boxes, Reesey boy. But it's a great dish because it is vegan. Um, sometimes though, vegans, you know, you really gotta work hard to cook for them. Far out, <laughs> just joking. Anyway, this makes veggies taste good. And we're gonna kick it off with our dal because it does take a little bit of time to get cooking. So what I've done is actually soaked some of these yellow split peas um, for a few hours just beforehand, just to speed things up a little bit. As you can see, they've already started to I guess rehydrate. So we've got those, which is delicious. You can use a few different varieties of dal if you would like, but today we're using the yellow. To kick things off, um, we're going with ginger. So I'm just going to cut up a little ginger in a bit of a bin. Um, and this is gonna be sort of like a ginger and turmeric based uh, dal. And we're also gonna spice it out with some cardamom, some mustard seeds, and of course my favorite, curry leaf. A great herb, something that is so truly packed with flavor that it just gets everyone very, very excited. I'm gonna turn on my burner, get the pot warming up. Um, so yeah, curry leaf is a favorite of mine. I buy it when it's sort of going on special at the greengrocer because I think a lot of people aren't too sure about it and don't know how to cook with it, but you know, now you do. This is the recipe for it and it keeps quite well in the freezer. Fresh is obviously best, but when you get a good special, you know, you want to save that stuff. Get it in the freezer. Ginger's chopped up. It's a good start there. Got some garlic coming in hot. Don't be afraid to crank it right up. Garlic. Oh, it's one of those tough garlics. Another one, three, four, five, there we go. Happy days, it's a good start. Lentil dal, oh, how good. You know, it is nice, on those cooler nights, it's warming, it's filling, and it really doesn't miss on the flavor side of things. You know, sometimes you think of dal, it can be a bit soupy, it can be a bit gloopy, it can be a bit bland, but if you spike it up, you've got some really nice flavored oils to stir through at the end of the cooking process, you are gonna be absolutely cheering. We're also gonna serve this dish with a bit of a mixed job of uh, cauliflower and cabbage, which I'm gonna sort of toast in a cast iron um, and again, use a similar sort of spiced oil mix to really flavor that up um, and add a little extra body and roughage to the meal. You can serve it with rice, you can serve it with flatbreads, whatever sort of tickles your fancy. Um, flatbreads are my pick. There's a, a local Indian store that I get um, some great sort of roti breads from. They're frozen, you pull them out, you do them in the pan, couple of minutes each side until they're golden and puffy um, and it's perfect with this dish just dipping it in there and really enjoying it. Coconut oil, pan's nice and hot, world's biggest jar. I don't even know where this came from but it's good. Okay coconut oil goes in, ginger's going to go in as well, good whack of ginger. It's just going to melt away during the cooking process. Garlic's up next. Reese is going to be able to smell this from Newcastle. The mayor of Newcastle will be straight down here. Oh, he's going to love it. I need a wooden spoon over here. Excuse me. From the back. Okay, coconut oil, aromats. Getting the party started, looking good. Obviously, the lentil, like I said, we soaked it, it's been strained and drained. 
That's going to go in. It's going to stir it around. Look at that colour. And we're going to accentuate that colour with a little bit of turmeric. Oh, it smells so good. Be careful with the turmeric. Nice. Turmeric. Happiness. In the pot. Activate. Flavours are happening already. Yum. Smell it. Woo, so good. Okay, what else are we going to do while we're here? Cardamom in the mayonnaise jar, as you do. A couple of pods goes in for the cooking process of the lentils. Um, I also have the dried chili. Now you can add as many or as little of these as you like. I'm just going to give it a tear in half, pop it in. Maybe two of those big guys. I actually don't know how hot they are, so we'll soon find out. Give it a good stir around. Look at that, and it's just like... Doesn't look like much, but there is so much flavor happening there. I'm gonna get some liquid for our lentils. There we go, there we go. Nice and well covered. The recipe and the ratios and all that good stuff is gonna be down below. There'll be a link to the website where you'll be able to pick up the recipe for this delicious dish and a whole heap of others. Um, so that is very nice. Yum. I'm gonna get a lid for the pot, put the pot on, put the pot's on, put the lid on the pot, turn it up, simmer, let it do its thing, and we'll be back. One second. This is always the heart. No, definitely not. Yes, victory. One of two. Okay, that's gonna go on, it's gonna to come to a simmer, I'm gonna reduce it slightly, let it do its thing, nice and gentle, gentle, gentle. Cook it away, okay? Let it propagate that flavor. Next up, I'm gonna get on to that delicious oil that we talked about. So I'm gonna flavor an oil, a coconut oil, with a number of different spices here. So I'm gonna be quite generous because both of these dishes that I'm making, the dal and also the cabbage and cauliflower dish, will take really well with this delicious oil. So good whack of coconut oil goes in. And then we're also going to put in there some brown mustard seeds. Mm. Again, generous, okay? Generous, generous, generous. Some yellow mustard seeds. Got a 50-50, same, same. Pop them away, don't want to drop them all over the kitchen floor. They go everywhere. Uh, some more cardamom. Good whack. Some more chili if you want it. I, def I definitely want it. I like a good punch on this. Again, tearing it in half. Tearing it in half. Tearing it in half. Boom. And some curry leaves. We're going to use a lot of these fresh at the end, but just to start that flavour and that aroma, it's just, I don't know how you describe the fresh curry leaf smell. It's sort of curry-ish, but almost tobacco-y in a way as well. It's just got such a lovely aroma. I'm gonna do a little switcheroo on some of these burners because I need to move things about. Cool, okay, oil is ticking away. It's just gonna melt down nice and gently, nice and easy. The lentils have started simmering. I'm gonna reduce that heat. I'm gonna keep them covered and let them do their thing. Happy days. Now, onto our cabbage and our cauliflower. You can do just cabbage, you can do just cauliflower, you can do cabbage and cauliflower, you could add carrots in there, purple cabbage. Any sort of, sort of hard, woody green, you could use kale. Um, all sorts of stuff work really well in this dish. Um, because we're gonna try and sort of get a bit of color 
on our leaves, a little bit of colour on our cauliflower, and I feel like char and colour comes becomes really, really delicious when you look at these sort of, I think they're called brassicas, brassica style vegetables, like your kales, your broccolis, your broccolinis, um, your cauliflowers. They have that delicious charry flavour that just works so well. I'm gonna take the, the bum off this guy. It's like a little hat. I don't know what it is about cabbage and hats. Like a gum nut baby. There you go. Whoosh it. Who's gonna eat that? Me. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Oh my gosh, you had a thing on your head and then you cooked it. Whatever. You're not eating it. I am. Relax, people. Just gonna cut the core out. Even though core on this one's quite small. Um, but just get rid of the core. It can be a little bit too woody and not very nice. We need things that are nice and palatable. Um, and I'm going to shred the cabbage, so just run the knife down through the cabbage. And the key here at this stage is a bit of a dry pan, okay? So, dry pan, lots of cabbage, lots of flavour. Okay. It goes in as one half of the cabbage. Cabbage is obviously going to sort of melt away. It's going to shrink. It's going to reduce any of these leafy items that we put on heat. Are always going to sort of disappear a little bit, like your spinach. You know, when you throw some spinach in the pot and boom, she's gone. Okay, other side of the cabbage. Look at that. I can already smell it. That is good. Let good. the lid go. I put it down here, didn't I? I'm gonna pop the lid on, cover it up, let it, let it burn. Let it burn! That's the goal here. While well, the cabbage is burning, oh, the oil is popping. Look at that. It's starting to do its thing. So the curry leaf is starting to pop, the mustard seeds are starting to pop. Once it gets to that stage and the oil is hot, just leave it for probably 60 seconds, and then from there, boom, we're on. We can turn the heat down, and it can just sit. Sit there and do its thing. Okay, that's enough oil. That's enough love there. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna give the old lentil dal a stir. It's happy. Gosh, it smells good. That's good. Let's prep the cauliflower. I think I only need half the cauliflower. So we'll do half, we'll save that for cauliflower white sauce, the greatest gift that your mum and grandma ever gave you. How good is it? And I'm gonna do the similar sort of thing. I'm gonna go quarters and get rid of some of this core. Cauliflower and broccoli leaves are actually really quite delicious as well, so if you wanna add those in. Perfect. I'm just gonna sort of cut it into almost steaks in a weird way, but not quite. We're definitely not replacing a steak for you vegans, far out. That just doesn't work. Here we go. Beautiful. Cauliflower's done. The cabbage is ticking away. The dal is bubbling nicely. The oil is off. I'm going to take a five minute break. Come back to you guys once that cabbage is nice and charred. And we'll go again. And we're back. Okay. Cabbage is smelling good. It's softening down, it's doing its thing. And I'm just gonna remove it and we'll see some of that color. Look at that, starting to get that charry charriness to it. And that is exactly what I'm after. Yeah, little burn. It's not all burnt, it's not all charred. It just gives it a lick of, a lick of that flavor. Scrape it off the bottom and then I'm going to go with the, the cauliflower. Alright, cabbage is out, cauliflower is in, same technique. 
get it in there, direct contact with the pan, high heat. Okay. And pop the lid back on. Let that do its thing. Shoot the dial. I'm going to take the lid off the dial now. Just let it bubble. And we're back. Cauliflower is looking good. Nice and charry, charry, nice and softened. That's great. That's what we want. Flavor town. Now it is time for cabbage to go back in. Mush that around. Mix it all together. Then we do our oil with the chilies and the curry leaf and all the mustard seeds. And that's where we're gonna start getting even more and more flavor. And that is so good. Um, to keep things up a notch, some more curry leaf goes in. Happy days, stirring, flavour everywhere. What it does need is a really good season. This cabbage loves a good bit of salt. Good season, good stir. and then the lid can go back on. This can come off the heat. Just gonna put it at the back here. And uh, that can sit while our dial finishes. The best thing about it sitting there, it'll just stew, it'll sort of melt into itself, it'll all relax, the flavors all come together. It's gonna stop getting that char, but it's still gonna taste absolutely amazing. The dial, still a few minutes away. Just want to really break those split peas down and uh, yeah, make it all delicious and soupy. Well, we're back and we're back for the final time because the dal is looking delicious. It's sort of all come together. The starch has come out of those peas and it's formed a really nice dish. And just to finish it off, I'm going to finally whip through this coconut oil, the remains. We got the mustard seeds in there, all the good stuff. That's gonna go in. And it's just gonna get beaten through along with those curry leaves. Yum. How good. Give it a good little whip, 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 whip. That really brings it back to life. So much flavor right there, right at the end of the cooking process. The color is phenomenal, that vibrant yellow. Oh, yeah. And our serving little dish here. Just gonna pour it out into that. Boom, oh, it's full. It's really full, but that's all good. One more thing to get, and that is our cabbage, so I can show you guys what that looks like. Just push that forward. Have a towel. The cabbage can come to the party. And sit right there. Do a big reveal. Ta-da! Nice and soft. All that flavor in there. All that caramelization. Now, if you wanted to, you could hit that with some really fresh herbs, some coriander and whatnot. But for me, this is like a pretty heavy meal, you know. It's a cold night, you've got a glass of red, you've got Reese in your ear yapping away, and um, you're smashing a really delicious, warming, hearty dal and cabbage. So, so good. 
pack full flavour. And most of this stuff you can find in your pantry. It's pretty cheap, it's pretty easy, and it's going to fill you up. Plus, you can cook it for 10 people, 100 people. It's one of those dishes that just carries on and on and on. So, let me grab a spoon. I'm going to try some of this dal. Probably burn my face off, but should be all right. Wow, I could eat that whole bowl. It's so good. Yum, creamy, still nice and loose. A little bit of texture there, but so smooth. Thank you guys, thanks for cooking along with us. Thanks for being in the kitchen. And as always, the recipe's on the website, haydenqueen.com.au. Jump over to Instagram, Facebook. There's more stuff there. It's all about good food, good times, and uh, Tasty dog. Thank you.